what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we are reviewing another new foundation, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. This has been all over the internet. And then I also grabbed also grabbed the water jelly hydrating primer i am so excited to try this out i'm intrigued like obviously we love a good foundation moment but water jelly primer hmm what so if you guys are excited if you're excited to see how this foundation works what are my thoughts then go ahead and keep watching the first thing I'm going in with is the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. I've seen this all over Instagram and the tube. So let's see. Let's see. It's very lightweight, but it's like so weird looking. Like it feels so light, but there's like a lot in there. Also, this eye look that I have incomplete right now will be completed and in a video right here for you guys to check out. I did a Valentine's Day look. Oh my god. Okay, this like just soaked into my skin. Are we sure this isn't a moisturizer? Oh, that's nice. Apply one pump of primer to clean skin before makeup. Wait 30 to 60 seconds for hydrating. Ingredients to absorb into the skin. Acting, activating priming ingredients to provide a optimal, uh, optimal makeup grip. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? One pump's just not gonna do it for me, Huda. So I got a big face, but this feels like legit, like I'm wiping water on my face. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love how this feels. All right, and the moment we've been waiting for, the new Huda Faux Filter Luminous Matte. Now, I do have the Faux Filter Stick. I do not have the liquid, the original one like this. Um, this is in Macchiato 400G. I did not care for the original foundation that it literally looks just like this. I returned it because it had so much fragrance in it that it just was irritating my skin really, really bad. So, so before I, let's check this, let's peep this. Yeah, it doesn't have as strong of a fragrance. Right, so I'm just gonna go in with two pumps, I think. What I've learned is I think I use too much foundation. So we're gonna go in with two pumps, spread it around and see. So right now I use the um, Glow Lust by Art Cosmetics to give my foundation like more luminous look but I didn't want to use that today because I just want to see how luminous this foundation is without help because I wouldn't be able to give you guys a real honest like oh it's so luminous because that Glow Lust is no joke so I could literally put dust on my face and it would look flawless. I think this is a little too dark. Now in the summertime, it'll be perfect. But I got toasted coconut in the stick foundation and it was way too light. So I'm still on the search for my perfect shade in Huda. But this one's not terrible, honestly. I did almost cover my whole face with two pumps, but I am gonna need a little bit more. I've just been trying to use like less makeup if I can. So it is sitting very nicely on my face. So I like that. And again, it has like no fragrance to it at all. So I'm so glad that she took that out. I forget what it, I think, is it just the faux filter? I don't remember, but it's the original one that literally looks just like this foundation. And it smelled, it had so much fragrance in it. I just could not use it. <laughs> With the pandemic, like you can't really try anything anymore in my area. At Ulta, at Sephora, you can't try anything. So it's like, you just have to really hope that you get a foundation that is your shade but i like having darker and lighter foundations so i can just like i like to mix my foundations anyways um just because like i'll like a little bit of the one or the way it feels but maybe it's too dark so i don't really ever return them because i have some that are way too light i have some that are way too dark so i just do a mixture to get my perfect shade hide these hands <laughs> But I will say it did not take much to get my face covered. So I'm excited about that. Huda, I love that it's not scented. Like I absolutely love it. I am going to probably get a lighter shade to mix with this one because it is like, I will be darker in the summertime, but this is, this is pretty dark. I didn't realize because Huda was the one that modeled the macchiato. I didn't realize that she was this golden. So that's, that might be my fault. <laughs> that's my bad. So far, it doesn't feel like tight, like a matte foundation. I can see it sticking to a little bit of my dry patches around my mouth. If you're not new here, I have eczema on my face in that area. So a lot of foundations stick there. 
um, especially like down here. The only problem I'm seeing is it's not very, it's not very luminous. Like you can see a little bit of a sheen, but I just thought it would be, I don't know. I just thought it would be more luminous than it is. I just kind of feel like it's definitely less drying than the other one, but I don't get the luminous look. So we'll give it, we'll do our thing, but I just don't feel like that luminous vibe. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I just sound like an idiot. I think 2021 is going to be year of the foundation. Like honestly, because everyone is coming out with a foundation. Everybody, Tom Ford, Bobby Brown, like all new foundations. So if there's a foundation that you guys want to see, comment it down below and I will give it a try. Recently, I've tried, I think it was the, oh, Urban Decay. And I'll link that one above. That was a new one I tried. I tried the Lum Dewy Luminous whatever from Wet n Wild. And then this one, did I do any other foundations? No, I think I did just the Glow Lust by Auric Cosmetics, so. But check out those foundation ones. I've just been doing a lot of foundation reviews because I feel like they're like, they are really pumping them out. A lot of people will not do a lot of foundation reviews because like once you find your foundation, you kind of found it. But I am all about foundations because I'm still on the hunt for my perfect dewy, like beautiful foundation. You know, I feel like I have to mix a lot of them together to get the formula that I want. I'm going in with the Huda Easy Bake for my setting powder and for my concealer. I don't know if I said it. I used the Kylie Cosmetics in shade ivory. Oh, I'm having a little breakout situation going on on my forehead. Fantastic. So far I'm loving this foundation. I'm hoping it doesn't oxidize because if it does, I'm screwed um, because, well, it's already too dark. So if it oxidizes, I'm screwed. <laughs> Please don't oxidize. I do feel like it's definitely a like medium coverage. I definitely feel like I could build it up more for a fuller coverage if I wanted to, but I like that I also can wear it like a simple lightweight. Like you can still see my beauty mark here. So I love that, happy about that. So I'm not gonna do bronzer, I don't think. I'm just gonna go with blush because it is a little too dark for my skin tone as is. So I really don't wanna bronze it up any more than it already is. Don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go in with this Wonder Beauty. It's the trip for two. I got this in a boxy charm, I think. Yes. And I liked the blush, but I hate this. This is a bronzer. And I'm just like, oh, that is not gonna bronze anything on this face. Like that looks like a setting powder for me. And I'm just gonna, rosy those cheeks on up. I love this color blush. I'm gonna go on with highlighter. So I'm using my ABH highlighter, the new one in Iced Out, which I'm currently obsessed with. I've talked enough about this collection and review. I will link it up here so you guys can check it out, but whew, this highlighter is so pretty. It's just such a good, beautiful glow. I just love it. <laughs> I look at that line. Ugh. Okay, let's go in with a setting powder. Setting powder, let's go in with a setting spray. So I did find out, I don't know if you guys have seen my video, but if you see my video of my big like Ulta sale haul, I did find out that this is the original continuous setting mist by Morphe. It's just an, it was a limited edition like Christmas one they had or something. That's why it smells different. I found that out. <laughs> I was like really freaked out that it wasn't. Also, do you see my fancy fan? It just dries my setting powder so much better, so. All right guys, so I'm gonna hop off, put my lashes on, put my lips on, and then we'll be right back for my final thoughts on the new Huda products. So we're going into my final thoughts on these two new products. This water jelly primer has me very intrigued. Like it was so hydrating and it felt like it instantly went into my skin. I have to give you an update and obviously I always do. I will wear this throughout the day, probably until bedtime, so a good eight hours. Uh, and I'll just let it sit and see how it works. But so far, I think that it made my makeup look really beautiful. My skin felt so stinking hydrated. It's not even funny, but it was almost like literally I was putting water on my face. It didn't feel thick. It didn't feel like I like the my Milk Hydro Group. Don't get me wrong. That's my favorite. She's my favorite, but it is sticky. It's kind of like thick and you can feel it and it's sticky. Where this one was, it almost like, it just immediately 
sunk into my skin and felt so nice. As for the foundation, I love her. <laughs> I so far I mean obviously I've only had it on for about an hour and a half now but I absolutely love her I love that she was not super strong in fragranced the last one that Huda came out with I just I know that some people don't mind it but if it's way too fragrance for me I can't wear it because my skin is so sensitive to that kind of stuff so I have to return it and it just the fact that this does not have like it literally has almost no scent and hopefully like I'm just not congested but it really has almost like virtually no scent so I really love this I wish I would have gotten a lighter shade but if anything like I said I have a lot of foundations that are super light for me so I can just mix it with this or I can just go get one shade lighter and mix them together if I need to but I love the formula I wouldn't say that I felt luminous I think that this plus my glow loss is going to be chef's kiss perfect perfection which i will let you guys know if i do those together i definitely do feel it's matte but it is less matte than the original one so i do love that but i wish maybe she would have called it like a demi matte foundation or semi matte or something like that but i do love it i love how it feels i love how it's sitting on my face i was able to get like a light coverage but I think that something like this, you could most definitely build up. Like I have to build up around here because I have a lot of redness and discoloration where like over here, I really don't need that much foundation. I don't get a lot of like breakout. So I don't need heavy foundation. So it's definitely, I was able to keep it light but it looks seamless. So it's able to be built up where I need it to be, but also more natural and lightweight on the areas that I don't. I love that she's not fragranced. That is my favorite part of it. Like I just, mm, when I get a foundation that has no scent, I get real excited, real freaking excited, especially from Huda because a lot of the times a lot of her stuff has fragrance. So this, this, I love it. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this first impression slash review. As always, I will update you in the comments below as to what happened throughout the day. I do like a wear test. I just don't do it on footage. And I will go ahead and comment and update and kind of let you guys know what I think about it. Did it start to separate? How did I feel about it? How did it wear? And all that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do five beauty videos every week and one blooper video every Saturday and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!